Is it working? Is that working? Can we see anything? Can we hear anything? There's an advert. Hello, is it working? Are we working here? Right, so I'm a bit off center. Is that a bit better? I don't want to accidentally break the stream like I did last time I did this. Hopefully that works. Right. Uh, okay. <laughs> Are we still... Okay, I'll start. Right, so thank you very much for joining me. It is um, just um, about time to start. Uh, so yeah, this live stream is for the uh, charity Ambulance Aid, who uh, have been raising money to buy... Um, ex-NHS ambulances, which are then um, stocking full of uh, urgent medical supplies and uh, taking uh, them to Ukraine. Um, so I thought for this I should build an ambulance. And, uh, and uh, I looked up to try and find one and I found this here. So this is... Um, new for me i realize that this the camera is upside down actually hang on i am going to fix this all right let's see hopefully that is better are we the right way up now let's see does this look better anyway i'll just carry on so anyway, yeah, this is a Herpa, which is a new brand that I've not heard of. Um, one to 87th scale um, ambulance. It came in white plastic, but um, I have painted it high vis um, in order to better replicate the um, NHS ambulances that they're sending to Ukraine. It's still not good, is it? Is that better? Sure there wasn't this much of a delay in the video when I did this last time. Right, let's see. Does that look better? Right, I'm just going to go from there. Right. That would be a good idea, uh, James. Uh, Cube Jam. So, let's open it up and have a look what's inside. <coughs> so as you can see here, it's uh, officially licensed by Mercedes mini kit, uh, all in German there. Don't speak German, but um, there we are. Um, information on the inside, read and follow the safety procedures, blah, 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 blah. Um, and on the back, these are the instructions, which don't seem to have any order. There are some tiny, tiny parts. So this will be very interesting <laughs> to see how that turns out. But I guess we'll see. The camera looks a lot better now. Okay, oh right, right, yeah, so I can hold it like that now, can't I? Right. That makes more sense. Okay, so let's open it up and see what's inside. So I've got um, this, which is the main sort of, um, I don't know what you call it, the, uh, the patient loading bay, I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> then we've got this, the cab. 
as I said before, these have both been painted in fluorescent yellow. Um, I can actually show you what paint I've used. I've used this fluorescent yellow from Halfords, uh, which has a matte finish, but that's fine. Ambulances aren't really known for being shiny. Um, and then there's um, this, the issue the interior. Then I've got a load of other things here. I've got the kind of frame here, and it's unbelievably detailed for a um, <laughs> for a one to eighty seventh thing. You can see here we've got the kind of exhaust. We've got parts of the suspension. Um, this, I guess, is another part of the floor. I'll have to work out where all these go. I've got the interior here, detailed seats. You can see there. The windows are already masked and trimmed, which is unbelievable considering you uh, you, you don't get um, you don't get these um, like this on a on a large scale kit. Got a little bumper there. I think that is part of the window for the cab at the back. Got some blue lights for the roof so these are actually on a sprue so those will need to be removed some nice little tires on steel wheels another little bit of the cab a bit that goes on the roof there for the lights I think these are the rear windows and then there's a load of other small things in here which I'm not going to take out because I'm worried that I'll lose them so yeah, this is going to be a bit of a, a, an, an experience, I think we'll call it. As well as that, because um, I wanted it to look as close to the ambulances that they are using. They've purchased and sent some ambulances over already, but they are in the process of getting more. Um, I have also uh, done some of my own decals. So you can see here I've done, and these are white back decals uh, some ambulance aid logos and then here and i always do more than i need because i sometimes mess them up i've got the um this checkerboard pattern here which um actually here's a good question does anyone in the comments know what the actual name is for the checkerboard pattern that appears on the side of emergency services vehicles and then we've got the chevrons that go on the back and then some ambulance markings and these little uh, medical aid ukraine decals which i might get on there as well right so let's have a look how does this start so i think it starts with the floor here then we've got the rear wheels you can see those are double wide and so those go in like so and then it looks like there's a tiny clip that's a bit of a difficult thing them not having any numbers for any of these but there we are yeah so that fits on top right you know what I now realized what would be really useful is a pair of tweezers Yes, Cube Jam, you're exactly right. They are called Battenbergs. After the uh, cake. So yeah, the patterns on the side, those uh, checkerboard pattern, are known as Battenbergs. Okay. Gosh, and now I'm at the point where I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, this is so small and delicate. If I was to snap something now, I don't know, what, what would I do? Cancel the stream? <laughs> I assume it's one of those things which is actually a bit more resilient than it seems. Yeah, there it is. There, and that rolls. So I think I've heard that these are often used in like model railways. I think that they're like, um, what's the scale? It's like HO or, or double O or something. 
Something like that. So yeah, we'll turn that over. And we've got a spare wheel, which actually even has a little steel wheel insert to go onto it. I mean, that's that's amazing. Like so. And then I guess that that goes there, I think. Be nice if the instructions were a little bit more clear. Okay, I'm going to leave that there, and I'm going to do the other bit. <laughs> Thanks for the confidence there, Chris. Yeah, um, I, I've i seen a lot of sort of dioramas in, in this sort of scale, but I guess most of the time you see it um, more sort of historical stuff, whereas obviously this is this is contemporary. Okay, so that must go there, I think. There we are. Yeah, okay, great. And then, yeah, so there you are. You've got the spare wheel under there. That's a nice detail. Uh, what next, what next, what next? Oh yeah, that goes on like that. And then there is some sort of, I think it's a foot plate. Right, that goes on there. That's cool. But I won't put that on yet. You can see where that goes. Right, okay. So there, like so. Anyway, who else? Uh, watching is uh, scale model building at the moment and what are you building right in the uh, right in the chat let me know okay so then you've got this part here which is like the lower part of the the door from the cab I think um, does that go the other way up hard to say it's not ex it's not really really clear what all of these parts are sometimes and I'm not sure whether this bit here is actually needed because it's not on this bit here do I remove that <laughs> I think it probably does need to come off while I think about that I'll show you something I'll show you one of the parts in here, which is really cool. Um, this is the radiator grill, which I've dropped. And well, you can see that um, it's actually got a little chrome Mercedes emblem on it. It's very difficult. It's not completely in focus, is it? But um, that's a nice, it's a nice little touch. Right. Okay. I'm going to assume. I'm going. I think that this needs to come off. Wish me luck. Okay. Right. So that then goes there. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense now. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, great. Then what next? It's the bumper. So apart from the fluorescent yellow, I've not really painted anything, but I think I am going to paint the interior. Hi, Martin. Ah, Scania. I've not built any trucks myself. Um, are the Italeri ones any good? That goes on there. I suppose this is a kind of truck. Not really. <clears throat> it's certainly nothing like the uh, scale of those ones. And that goes on... There. I 
I'll add a link later to the um, the vlog that the um, that the guys who have driven because um, they've driven two ambulances over the last couple of days and they actually got to Poland today and uh, they've been uh, vlogging their progress on the YouTube channel which I've helped them out with and uh, I won't give you the link now because um, I want you to watch this but um, uh, yeah it's uh, it's amazing. Uh, amazing what they've done and um, it's such a long way to go right so then we've got a steering wheel here and um, I guess it's on this sprue here which you can kind of use to sort of push it into position left hand drive which of course isn't exactly correct for an NHS ambulance but there we are that's nice. Nice bit of detail on that. I think I would like to build a lorry one of these days, but um, as as with you know many of these sort of models, it's the space. I mean, you know, I'd really like to build that um, that Revell uh, Routemaster double decker bus. But I mean, you know, where would you put that when you're finished? OK, so there we are. We've got the beginnings of a van and it rolls. That's cool. We've got the little cockpit there. So let's add some detail to this. So I did look at some pictures of um, real ambulances uh, of the ones that they've used, for instance. And um, most of them seem to have a, a green uh, bed. Not sure you'd call it a bed, really. It's not like anyone's sleeping in there. Fortunate to say that I've never been in an ambulance myself. <laughs> That's uh, the is that the Mercedes team truck you're doing, Cube Jam? Do you have all the decals you need for it? I'm using uh, Revell acrylic here, which is my go-to paint for brushwork. I just find that it's very forgiving. Well. As I, I see, yeah, you say there, you've got the Mercedes logos, but no other decals. You know that I do decal work. So if you want me to help, let me know. Say later, I'll talk to you about how I did the decals for this. This is um, sea green, which is a matte finish. It's funny because I'm not sure because the windows are like tinted, so I'm not sure you'll see any of this once uh, once it's all together. But there we are. <clears throat> I'll write a poll. Let's see what would the poll question be. Um, right. Did that work? Did the poll work? Do you eat and drink? when modeling if so what there we are we'll see we'll see what people say i didn't when i did this last time i didn't notice there was a a um a poll option so i'll i'll see if that's successful me personally i have got a cup of tea uh in my um building on a budget models mug i'll try and show you that without spilling it 
I will, I will drink um, at the bench, but I usually won't have anything to eat because I'm just worried about, I don't know, picking up toast with gluey fingers or something like that. Okay, so there we are. Got a little ambulance bed in there. Maybe just you doing a, a yes or no. Caramel latte. Wow, you've got you've got uh, you got fancy tastes. Pepsi. <laughs> you dropped a dropped apart. See, that's the other thing. That's the other thing about why it's dangerous to um, to eat while modelling. That you might accidentally eat eat part of the model. I mean, gosh, this this thing here. This is certainly small enough to eat. And I'm really going to have to make sure I keep it on the table because um, if I drop some of these things, I don't know where they're going. Chris, where are you getting a caramel latte from? Are people making that for you? Or are you like, or are you getting like Costa delivered to your house or something? bench don't know what color to do the other things in there really yeah <laughs> yeah yeah i definitely could i mean like it's you know it's smaller than than a pot of paint this thing <laughs> Um, it's part of the reason why I'm keeping it all in here because I'm worried about losing it. It's actually got um, separate wing mirrors, which is a crazy detail. I really, <laughs> really hope the fitment is good because I don't want it all to fall out. But you can see there, I'll just do a little test. I'll go on there. I mean that that's really nice. If I was worried about shelf space, I mean these getting a kit like this um, really uh, uses the well, uses the space well. Seventy nine p for a box of ten. Have to I have to wonder what what is in them at that price. <laughs> So it seems to me like, um, so yeah, we got so we got eight watching, nine likes. If um, yeah, if you if you haven't liked it, actually, uh, do like the video because um, the more likes a video get, the more more chance it will have of being suggested to other people who might um, who might be interested in watching it. Haven't actually set myself a um, sort of a time frame for this. But I figured because last time when I was doing the live stream, I finished um, before schedule. Uh, so I started on um, started on Subaru. If I finish before schedule this time, I'll show you what I've been working on recently. I've been doing um, this Ferrari pit crew. Really hope you can't hear my son shouting upstairs who should really be in bed. Yeah, Richard, you're totally right there about about getting um, grease on parts. Um, it's um, it's really noticeable sometimes um, when your hands aren't clean, you know, doing clear parts, for instance, um, because you'll notice um, you'll notice things. 
uh, like, uh, you know, fingerprints. I'm not sure I'll do anything else to that because I, I think uh, I think I'll, I'll, I'll mess it up. Sometimes sometimes I'll have a, a beer if, if it's early enough in the day. I'm not going to have a beer in this situation because I'm working. See, that's the difficult thing about being a, a, a YouTube builder. It kind of becomes work, but I, was, I still enjoy it. I still enjoy it. Okay, so that goes on there. Like that. It's nice fitment. Okay. See, once I started doing it, the instructions actually aren't as bad as they first appear. When I first saw them on here, I was thinking like, God, I have no idea where these things go. Maybe I'll do the decals. Yeah, okay, I'll do the decals. So, <clears throat> yeah, Craig, I agree with you there. Cup of tea is normally what I'd go for. I think um, it's too late for coffee now for me. So let's do let's do the Battenbergs as Chris uh, not Chris sorry it was Cube Jam mentioned before that's what the markings on the side of an ambulance or a police car are called this is when I can't find my craft knife there it is okay. So these are some of the decals which I make at home myself. Um, I might have, um, you might have seen some of my videos about these before. Generally, I find um, high quality images on Google Images, and then I usually use a software like Microsoft Publisher. Now, if you're a real kind of, you know, arts buff or, you know, editing buff, you probably would want to use something like Photoshop, but I don't have that and it costs, uh, whereas I've got MS Office, and Publisher, normally you can add the pictures to it, move them around without losing too much quality. Then um, these are printed onto either, um, uh, these are clear backed paper, or also I've got white backed paper. So the white backed paper, therefore these will, you know, look like they're on white. Whereas these are good for pale backgrounds. So these will show up very nicely on this. They'll show up very nicely on white or on yellow. Once the ink is dried after they're printed, um, I then give them four coats of um, clear lacquer. And I generally use something like this, Halford's clear lacquer, because it's um, really good value for money. And it goes on nice. It's got a nice bit of a shine there. So, um, so there, there we are. And I do more than I need because if I make mistakes, which I sometimes do, Um, I'll have extras or also because sometimes you get printing problems okay. microfilm no I haven't um, actually I've heard a lot of people talking about it um, as a way to for instance repair um, Older decals as well. It does sound like a good idea. Um, I bought my microsol from eBay a while ago. So um, yeah, maybe maybe if I see somewhere that sells microfilm, maybe I'll think about that. Although obviously, with the amount of decals I print, um, I would get through a lot of them. I just had to step away because I um, forgot to get water for the decals. So, um, so yeah, here we are. Got some water here, Got some paper. So then because I don't want this to go all the way along or all the way, I'll have a look here. Yes, yeah, so I'll stop it 
there at that one. It'll be interesting to see what colour these come out as when um, when they're on here. Now, I say that normally with these homemade decals, they don't need quite as long in the water. Hello, Intruder 66. So I'd say probably about mm, 10 seconds. And I forget to count because I'm talking to you. Anyone else been counting? I'd say that's 10. Okay, then I put it on the tissue paper. I'll put it there so you can see. And then this is really helpful actually. I might, I've shown this on some of my videos before, but you might not have seen it. So this is a stand, a 3D printed stand for Microset and Sol, which was uh, printed for me by my brother-in-law, Rory. And I then went over with red and blue. But, oh my God, you know, this micro sole, I've barely got any of it left because I think about a week after having it, I knocked it over. And the micro set, by comparison, is almost completely full because I've then got this. And it's also helpful because you can put the brushes in there or put the brushes in there. So, um, yeah, if you've got a 3D printer or you know someone with a 3D printer, really recommend something like this. Hello, Stefan. Hello, RJ Holmes. I assume that is Ricky. Okay, so I'll put down a little bit of micro set. You know what? This is why I put things away in the right place because I've been putting away things in the wrong place. Okay, there we are. There's my blunt, blunt tweezers. So these ones are less likely to uh, damage it. Okay, right. So, like I say, if I mess this up, which is definitely a possibility, then at least I've got other decals as well. There we are. exactly straight just move it a bit gently yeah that's not bad looks like an ambulance <laughs> hopefully you'd agree with that it looks like an ambulance snowy sweden wow i've saw so where in sweden i went to um stockholm um Ooh, how long ago was that? I think it was about eight years ago. My wife and I loved it. Um, you know, lots of nice food, nice things to see. It was uh, November, so it was quite cold, but it hadn't started snowing yet. But yeah, I would love to go back. cream in your tea um it's just milk it's just um it's and it's just this is actually decaf tea because i'm middle-aged now and um <laughs> and i normally don't have uh caffeine past like sort of seven o'clock i would say but um it's it's a uh, semi uh semi skimmed which is like half fat um uh milk post-apocalyptic vehicle yeah you know what actually um i did see um an ambulance oh vasteris that's sorry sorry i'm interrupting myself um i did see an ambulance uh nearby parked in someone's drive that had like biohazard zombie surveillance survival kit uh on the side uh vasteris i think was the airport that we that we went to which was very small and then we had uh, then we had a very long coach journey um, to Stockholm from there. Um, but yeah, I would like to go again. It's 100 kilometers west. Wow. I, I, I remember it being a long coach journey. I didn't remember it was that long.
Okay, so then we got the ambulance aid decal here. So you can see there that the green and yellow Battenbergs are on clear, uh, but they show up quite well because of the um, uh, pale background. And um, uh, the uh, the other one is white. Yes, <laughs> sorry. I maybe I'm maybe thirty five isn't middle aged. I don't know. Uh, I'll do I'll do another poll. I'll do another poll. There we are. We'll see this. I'm sure this this poll will be um, will have more interesting, <laughs> more interesting results than the last one. When does middle age start? Now, the, the difficult thing about these, though, is that I've not cut out the windows. So I'm now sort of thinking, like, uh, how am I going to do that? And also, I can't go all the way up to the top, so... This... I'll cut it... there. Let's see, how many, how, many, how many answers in a poll have, have we had? Six votes, okay. Well, we'll um, I'll continue the poll, and I'll see, <laughs> I'll see what results I get. So, how would I cut those out? Hmm. Have I have I not thought about what I was doing here? Funny. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Richard. Okay, there we are. So there's the two doors. And... Then... Okay. This is me, definitely, kind of thinking on the fly. But also... I've got extra decals, so I can afford to to experiment, we'll say. So I tell you what, before cutting that out, before cutting the other one out, let's see, how does that look? That actually looks okay. I mean, the chevrons don't go all the way to the side, but... <sighs> now, I'll, I'll try and do the other one. Seven votes now. Let's see. I've got 11 watching, so, you know, I, one of them is me. But if um, if you're watching and you've not voted in my very scientific poll,
Okay, there we are. All right. For those people in the UK, don't you hate it when you're going down the motorway and you're coming up to someone with these chevrons on the back of their car and you slow down? You might not be speeding. No, you're not speeding to start with, but you slow down anyway. And then as you get closer, you realised it's like highway maintenance or or a vet ambulance or or something like that. Thanks, Cube. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I'll put some of this micro set on here. I'm not sure whether you can see, but there are actually um, lines to show that these are the, the rear doors of the ambulance, which is quite nice. And you can see there, I don't know if you can see that, that it's it goes kind of trans translucent because these are clear this is clear decal paper. I think that looks okay. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Right, go on to the next one. Nine votes now. Got 40s, 50s, uh, both at 44% and later than that at 11%. 0% for 30s. So, <clears throat> yeah, according to this poll, according to that... Um, Survey of nine, I'm not middle-aged. Okay, I think I'll try and line them up as best as possible. Uh, can move them around a little bit once they go on, but obviously you want them to get as close to the right position when they start. Mm, yeah, that one has that one's not as good as the other one, I would say. But it's all right. If I I think that looks okay. It's not exactly symmetrical, but I think it looks like an ambulance. Hopefully you'll agree. There we go, I've done that side. So now we'll go on to the other side. Right. I like the tiny medical aid Ukraine stickers. Oh yeah, thank you. So yeah, this is Tanya, who is my wife, and uh, she's also the one who um, 
has encouraged me to help <laughs> encouraged. do some of these sort of charity things. Um, yeah, the um, very, very, very small blue and yellow symbol there comes from the charity Med Medical Aid Ukraine, which she has been working with. The next ambulance should be getting slightly bigger de decals, which, which, which just didn't have time for these ones. Yeah. Lovely. Yep, so I'll just cut those off there. Do this the same just as I did on the other side. So as I said before, this is um, HO scale, I think, which is for model railways and, uh, and that sort of thing. Um, I've never built a model railway myself. Um, I think they take up a lot of room, but I, I don't know. It's one of those things. As a modeler, I, I would love to be able to, you know, do all all the different kind of genres and stuff. But um, maybe it's something I'll do one day when I've got, you know, a massive loft or something somewhere I can hide. Do any of you uh, build model railways? I wonder. Or was that something you did in your youth? Okay, so we got this one here now. Okay, pretty happy with that. Um, Tanya, uh, one of my viewers, Richard, says hello, says hi. I'm very happy to say hello. I'm happy to say hello. <laughs> <laughs> she's gone in the other room, but she's come back to say hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to get a cup of tea and then get back to work. I did, I did make you one, actually. Thank you. <laughs> right. I wonder whether that could go on there. It's not quite long enough, but I do have more. I've got some more decals here as well. <clears throat> so yeah, this charity, um, Ambulance Aid, they have um, three. Not sorry, they're not a charity because that's like a legal distinction thing. They're a group. They're like a fundraising group. Um, <clears throat> they've um, they've managed to get three ambulances so far, and um, just today um, they've um, driven uh, two of them over to Poland, uh, where they will then be taken on by. Um, uh, volunteers from Ukraine and they'll be taken into Ukraine to help uh, people who really need who really need that help um, and they're stocked full of uh, medical supplies so that's really useful um, the next ambulance which they have already got um, which is in one of the videos that um, uh, is on their YouTube channel uh, Tanya told me is um, was um, from the BBC and uh, the British Broadcasting Corporation, for anyone uh, not in the UK. And um, apparently it was... Um... I'm not allowed to say yet where, which, which show. Oh, am I not allowed to? <laughs> okay. You're allowed to say the BBC, but not which show. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. All right. Well, okay. Apparently I'm not allowed to talk about it. But I yeah, it's the, 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 B, the BBC <laughs> had it for, for a, a programme. And now they don't need it for the program anymore, so so the charity have got it. But um, yeah, funny to think that the BBC were actually using you know proper ambulances. Um, but yeah, I'm not allowed to mention what show apparently. So you'll have to find out next time. <laughs> 
by next week we should be able to say. <laughs> yeah. About how many shows have yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh wow, four by eight layout. So is that like like tiles or something um for the for the railway? Right, let's put some ambulance decals down. Some people have said where they're from. Uh, uh, feet, four by, four by eight feet. Wow, okay, so that is big. Yeah, so um, you need pretty big space for something like that. I can see why. Hopefully you do get it built back up eventually. heard where some people are from we had uh, Stefan who said he was from um, from Sweden um, what other countries have we got watching cube jam was from Wales but he's gone now so we will just have to uh, fly the uh, fly the flag for him should actually say emergency ambulance on the side here but never mind just got a decal which is ambulance there you see that i think that's all right bit bit blurry but I promise you it looks okay Oh yeah, I thought you were in the US, Richard. Never been to the United States. I would like to go. Um, we nearly, we tried to plan a holiday there the other year, but just, um, just it, it's it's expensive. But um, yeah, would like to eventually. Okay. Time is it? I've nearly been doing this for an hour now. I think maybe had I not done the decals, I probably would have finished by now. I don't know. But yeah, here's this if you came late, what I did so far. And uh, yeah, it's got some incredibly tiny parts. Um, but fortunately, haven't lost any of them yet. This decal here for Medical Aid Ukraine, which is the charity that Tanya has been working with. I 
There we are. And it's not the most logical place, but that is where it's positioned on the uh, on the real one. Maybe got some people watching who can't say what country they're in. Maybe it's some sort of secret. lost that decal so you can see here they're incredibly trans transparent but then once you put them down onto something like that you can see the color not sure anyone would know what that was unless you know they actually knew the logo already but there we are So then I've got these two uh, window sections. Now, do these go onto this? No, I think they go into here. So I've got this, which go in the back, like so. I think that's right, I think that works. And then this one here. goes there. Now in actual fact um, NHS Ambulance normally has more windows than this but never mind. Yes Cube Jam I did remember to print off the Ambulance Aid decals. Thank you. Yes they were these. Uh, right where was I? Okay, so I'll put this onto here. So we'll say goodbye to that interior. Does that feel okay? Oh, hang on. Should I have done something already then? Hold on. Oh, no, no, we're fine. We're fine. So this foot plate, which goes on the back, that can now be added like so I think but oh maybe there's something else that goes there okay I'm gonna leave that for now let's leave that I think there's something else there I've missed maybe okay let's stop for a second have I missed something the problem is some of these things are so small like I, ca I can't rem I don't know where that goes I think I think this is for the tail lights and I think that should go down there maybe or maybe that goes up there what does the picture look like hmm maybe that should be high vis too here, I'll go and print that. I'll go and paint that in high vis very quickly. Back in a moment.
there we are. I've painted that. I've painted that in high vis, and maybe I'll take this bit off just in case I've forgotten something. Because the instructions aren't the clearest thing in the world. I'm sure you'll agree. See, my understanding is that I've done all of these things. I've done that. There's the window. And then there's the cab, the cab here. Oh, the high vis is incredibly luminous. I mean, I re realize on the screen here it just looks kind of yellow. Um, but yeah, I mean, considering this is this was bought from Halford, so I assume it's for like safety purposes and things. It looks, you know, it looks like the color of a of you know a, a builder's um, high vis jacket or something similar. <clears throat> So, right, I've actually got a couple of decals to go on here as well. So maybe I should do that next, whilst I let that high-vis thing dry. So. Yeah, no, it's, it's, um, I realise now when doing this that uh, I can't really get a good photo of the high vis kind of showing just how it looks because it just looks yellow. So here yeah, on the bonnet I'll use, I'll do the, um, the reverse um, ambulance text which we see often in this country do you see that in other countries where the um, the text on the on the front of an emergency service vehicle is mirrored so that um, so that uh, on so that traffic ahead can see in the mirrors what what it is that's behind them whether it's police or ambulance or fire I don't know See, I would say that might actually be a little bit smaller even than than it could be. A little ambulance writing on there. But still, um, I realise actually you can't really see anything, can you? And then I've got another one to go on the um, on this kind of roof bit here, which is where the lights are housed. Cheers, Cube Jam. Have a good fun evening at work, if you can call it that. There we are, that's quite clear. <clears throat> right. So, let's start making this look like an ambulance. So there we are, got the little Mercedes emblem in there. And then the headlights, maybe the headlights should have gone in first, I'm not sure. They go in behind. Uh, 
Ah, yeah. So would you say that exactly the same? I mean, obviously it's spelt ambulance. It's spelt almost exactly the same. Try and see how much Swedish I remember. Um, let's see. Hey. Um, tak. Tak samika. Um, what else? Godis. Godis. A, a sweets, I think. Um, what else did I remember? Tried to learn Swedish, even though almost every person we came to spoke English. Just, you know. And also, I remember finding it interesting that there isn't a word for please. That surprised my English sensibilities. <laughs> ah, now I realise that these are mirrors, aren't they? Okay. Well, you know what, then? Let's paint them up. How was my pronunciation of Swedish, of the kind of like five or six Swedish words that I knew? Okay, so there we are, We've got those wing mirrors painted up. Now should they have, oh gosh, do I make this more difficult for me by painting up some tiny little details? I'm now looking up what it would look like exactly, because I really need to add those kind of tiny details. Yeah, okay, they would be black there. Fine, let's get out the black and try painting those tiny little bits. A bit of a mess. <laughs> Maybe we get a better, better brush than that. <laughs> it's it's okay. I will take that. I will take my pronunciation of Swedish being okay. Whereas some of the Swedish people I've met have better pronunciation of English than some English people I've met. Toothpick is pretty useful for painting little fine details like that. Right. How do I put these on without losing them?
Oh gosh. So yeah, um, I mentioned before about the Ambulance Aid YouTube channel. Um, uh, there isn't actually a link in this video currently, um, but then that's fine because you're watching me, so you're not going to watch it. Um, I did link it in the description. Um, not this description, what am I talking about? I did link it in my um, community tab of my channel um, the other day. Um, so uh, yeah, please do uh, go and have a look there to find out what the uh, the guys who've taken the ambulance over already um, have been doing. Um, it's an absolutely amazing journey crossing, uh, what was it, five different countries in uh, less than two days to uh, to get those ambulances to Ukraine. There is a link in the description down below where you can donate to Ambulance Aid. It's not been an easy journey for them. No. In fact, yeah, um, the vlog videos actually have some um, some pretty unintentionally funny moments. Um, so uh, they are well worth a watch. But yeah, they have got there. You know what? I think that the rest of this video might be the rest of the evening is just going to be me struggling to get these um, these tiny wing mirrors <laughs> into these holes. <laughs> just not not going in. Seventh times the charm. Maybe I shouldn't have painted it. Maybe that was the problem. I painted it and then I couldn't really see what I was doing. People do learn foreign languages at school here, usually French or German, but sometimes Spanish, but um, not many people kind of carry it on beyond sort of, I'd say sort of secondary school. They probably start to learn too late. I think that's the, I think that's the issue. Speaking as a former teacher, um, as you say, foreign languages need to be need to be started from a very young age. Which is why we're trying to teach our boys Ukrainian. Hopefully, that has some progress. I'm not getting these in at all. These wing mirrors. <laughs> Last thing I'd want to do is to try and force them in and accidentally break something. If I break the wing mirrors, then never mind, because in actual fact, in one of the videos, they break the wing mirrors of the real car. Real ambulance, I should say. See, even that, I'm not sure that's really in. Okay, leave it, leave it. Maybe it's in. And it falls out again. 
and I've knocked out the other one as well. Right. Right, I'm going to leave those. I'm going to leave those, and maybe at the end, I'll super glue them in or something. But that's impossible. That's incredibly difficult. Right, these hopefully aren't going to be so difficult. These are the lights that go on the roof. That's not going in, so do you have the drill here? There, that's better. And then the other one's here. Please feel free to ask me questions in the uh, in the chat, actually, because I do like answering those. Don't think that you're bothering me or anything, because I am inviting you into my house, sort of. I do need some glue on these anyway. Most of them seem to be kind of like dry fit, but I guess in some cases you do need glue for this. Here I'm just adding a little bit of super glue to the back of that. If you had the space, would you try airbrushing? Yes, I would. Um, one of the one of the problems is because I work in the kitchen, and um, you know I would need you know the compressor, the airbrush, and I know you can get small ones, but I would also need the um, the the spray booth. But yeah, if I had the space, then definitely I would try airbrushing. Um, I know that the finish you can get from, you know, with a proper airbrush is superior to with spray cans. Um, so yeah, do you airbrush um, anyone, um, Stefan? Uh, what, uh, what airbrush would you recommend if you were just starting out?
we got some more of these Battenberg patterns to go on the door. I did actually have an airbrush once. Um, it was a really cheap one, um, like twenty pounds, like from China, with like a sort of like a small sort of square um, compressor. And um, I tried using it outside because I didn't want to um, didn't want to get the you know the the paint fumes anywhere. And um, I ended up breaking it. I mean, it was a long time ago. It was a long time before I did YouTube. <clears throat> Cheers, Chris. See you later. Thanks for watching. Neo for Owata. Yeah, that's probably a good idea using Tamiya paint for airbrushing. I mean, you know, when I when I tried airbrushing, I was very inexperienced, and um, I actually. Uh, used uh, Humbrol paint, which <laughs> I barely use Humbrol paint even for brushing now. So yeah, it was um, probably would have been better had I used had I used Tamiya. Okay, that's good, and I'll put the window in there. It's nice. Right. So when you say small compressor, like how small, how small is that? Right, I'm actually really close to finishing. So I've got these tail light parts and I've got these other light parts and I think I'll probably leave off the wing mirrors. <clears throat> so. I'm trying to work out how this goes together. Right, let's have a look. Let's have a look again. Okay, so. I think, I think that goes on there. Possibly. Or not. Ah, okay, so maybe I'm supposed to put that in first. The instruction could be a little clearer. Three litres air tank. Ah, okay. Yeah, I've heard of people using, you know, like just a tank of air. Um, okay, I think that's right. Now let's try putting this on and see if that pins it down. That doesn't feel right. Feels like I'm going to break it. Let's take that off. And I'll have, another, I'll, have, I'll have another look at it. That's better. That looks more like it. Like that, I think. I mean, it still doesn't look perfect. Ah, oh, well, you know what? I'm not. Sh I'm. You'd be surprised 
how few places you can buy Humbrol in Britain as well. Humbrol, who are part of um, who are part of um, Hornby, in their uh, wisdom, have decided it would be a good idea for them to only sell their paints online, which means even a lot of hobby shops now in Britain don't stock Humbrol, and um, I don't think it's a good good idea to be honest, because. Um, when it comes to acrylics, uh, there are a lot of other brands which are better, you know, which you can also get online. You know, Tamiya, Vallejo, Ravel, uh, you know, Mr. Hobby. So if you're having to buy your paints online, I'd go for one of those instead of Humbrol. So you're probably not missing much. Okay, at least I got these tail lights in, or kind of roof lights. They'll go at the back. Shame I couldn't get the wing mirrors in because there's a really nice level of detail to this. But yeah, maybe I shouldn't have painted those bits. Maybe that was the problem. really difficult okay so that's in and that goes oh whoops not like that that goes there at least it should do there we are it's good I think that's right looks right okay great and then That goes on the front. Ah, okay, I've done something wrong here. That is supposed... Ah, I see. Ah, okay, this is where I found I've done a mistake. So, these should have gone around, around that. Will they go in now? Maybe not. Okay, so I need to take the dash out, not the dash, the grill. Oh, and I glued it. <laughs> this is why having numbered instructions is very useful. Because you make mistakes like this when they're not numbered, you put things in the wrong order. really hope I don't break something now. Let's take the glass out because otherwise that's an accident waiting to happen and yeah I've just pulled the decal off. <laughs> right. Good way of doing this is to use something like this. Okay, good, got it. Right. Okay, now we'll try this again. So there we are, the window goes in. And then... That goes into place. Right, okay. And then... The grill... clips all these parts together. Mm. 
Okay, might add some glue to that in a bit. Okay, and I've wiped one of the Battenberg decals off that side. That's fine, I can sort that out. Okay, so let's do that Battenberg decal again. There we are, very close to finishing now, aren't we? So don't worry, when we're finished, you can all go home. Might as well do one of these ambulance aid decals on the back as well, since I've got them spare. And now we'll put the Battenberg back on the other side. Oh. Okay. There. Just realised actually, did I check? <laughs> no, they don't line up. <laughs> oh well, never mind. Is there a way I can take that off? Oh, never mind. It's stuck. Right. And then we'll put the ambulance aid decal on the back as well. There we are. And with this, with this, <laughs> and now they're not going to go in, are they? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I made some of these holes a little smaller by painting, but some of the fitment has been a little bit difficult at times. Is it going to go in? Is it going to go in without me breaking it? Mm, it needs to be a little bit bigger. And there we are. Looks like a toy, doesn't it? I think I'll leave off the wing mirrors because they just weren't going to go on. Or maybe I'll give it one more. Oh, should I get... No, can't be bothered. But there we are. That looks pretty much exactly like one of the ambulances that has um, now travelled all over Europe. Um, so the um, the group have um, have sought to buy X 
NHS ambulances. They've uh, had got three so far, and uh, the first two, which were stocked up with uh, urgent medical supplies, were um, sent off from uh, Warwickshire yesterday, and um, they went on the ferry over to Calais in France, then through Belgium, through the Netherlands, uh, through Germany, and then today they were driving through Poland. Uh, you can watch all of the um, adventures of uh, how they've got on on the uh, YouTube channel, which is linked in uh, the community tab on my YouTube channel. I'll also add a, uh, a link in the video uh, description to this afterwards. Um, and uh, yeah, um, it's uh, really amazing. They've now been taken over by uh, volunteers from Ukraine. Uh, to be taken um, into uh, into Ukraine, R parts that really, really need it, parts in the south and down towards the east as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, if you haven't um, uh, donated, please do consider. The uh, link is in the description uh, down below. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you are still watching, a little goodbye uh, might be nice before I have to leave. Um, but uh, yeah, this has been a re really uh, interesting experience building this tiny um, uh, ambulance, 187th scale. Um, I think I will leave it here because um, it is getting pretty late. But uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, I'll see you soon.